I'm going to do the Black Magic speed test. Um, I see online that some people are having issues getting the Black Magic speed test program for Windows. So um, I don't know if it's even in the store. Let's see if it's in the store. Uh, what, um, so let me go to the store. And uh, Microsoft Store. Let me see if they have it. Maybe they have it. I know that iTunes has it or Apple for Mac. Black Magic. Uh, speed. Uh, nothing. Try to what? Oh, sorry. <sighs> Nothing, it's not coming up at all. All right, so. Anyway, I have it. So maybe I'll just leave a share down below from a, uh, a Google share. So, you know, you guys can access the uh, Blackmagic software. It's basically a copy and paste. So that's the USB drive that I'm going to use to install or copy and paste the Blackmagic speed test, hard drive speed test. So it's right here. So I'm just going to right click, copy, and then I'm just going to drop it into the C drive. So I can just act like a regular program on the x86 and do uh, paste. And once I do that, I'll go in here, I'll right click the executable, and I will create a desktop shortcut and close it. And run the regular black magic speed test. So there it is. You see it just runs. It's not a install program, it's a copy and paste or drag and drop type of program. Very convenient. So let's make sure okay. We're doing five gigs. Select target drive. Let's make sure we're choosing the C drive. Click OK. Why is that? OK. Uh, Yeah, that should uh okay I'm a little confused let me remove this uh, uh, yeah this is the drive itself this speed test cannot be run on the selected location because it is read only please select another location which data can be read and written. So, all right, let me see if I can fix that. So to fix that issue, all I did was I just closed the uh, speed test, started it up again. It defaulted to the C drive, so I didn't need to select it at all. So these are the uh, tests. a lot wow the reads are almost off the charts they're pretty good
the rights are not bad at all either. When you compare this to <laughs> the read and write on a regular hard drive, which you're lucky to get maybe a hundred, getting over a thousand is excellent. This drive is fast. Yeah, very happy with the uh, read and write speeds on this uh, NVMe one terabyte drive. It is fast. Just for comparison to a regular hard drive, this is the five terabyte hard drive that I installed in this laptop. It's a 2.5, I believe it's a Seagate one. What a huge difference. Again, that's the regular drive. And just for fun. Again, I just close it. It'll default. Once you open and close it, once you close it, it'll just default to the C drive. So look at the difference. Ah, sorry. Well, let me close it again. So again, let me just try it again to select the drive, C. So selecting the C drive. Okay, I get this error, no big deal. Just close it again and reopen it. And it'll default, it'll write to it, read and everything, and that's it. And look at those numbers. What a huge difference. Huge difference. And everything is green. 